So good morning and a very warm welcome to all of you who have traveled literally from the farthest corners of the globe to be with us today. As one of the co-organizers of the Digital City Summit and Associate Chair of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce Stanford's Dean of Engineering, Dr. Persis Drell, to welcome all of you and to make a few stage setting comments. Um, just a, a quick comment, in the interest of maximizing time for our presentations, discussions and questions, by this amazing group of participants who has been assembled for the summit. We're going to keep introductions of panelists, moderators, keynote speakers very brief. Your brochure has bios for all of them and we'll have addenda for the ones who joined us very late. Um, so, but I do need to make a few brief comments about our, our distinguished Dean of Engineering. Prior to becoming Dean about a year ago, Dr. Drell headed up Stanford's Linear Accelerator Center, SLAC which is a Department of Energy laboratory that Stanford manages for the department. And um, in this role, she established a stellar reputation for both fostering collaborative science between SLAC and multiple disciplines at Stanford and around the world, and for building an institutional support structure that enabled and, and supercharged this kind of collaboration. And so similarly to the pulses of high energy that SLAC creates, to explore subatomic particles, Dean Drell has in injected this kind of high energy into the uh, school during her first year as our new dean. It's my great pleasure to introduce Dean Persis Drell to ask you to help me welcome her uh, to launch this Digital City Summit. Thank you. Uh, that was a unique introduction. Um, and I'm very, very pleased to be here to welcome you. Um, to this first Digital Cities Summit. Uh, so when I first became uh, Dean of Engineering, um, I'm a physicist by training, so I had to learn what engineering was about. And as a school, we engaged in a conversation uh, asking where did Stanford School of Engineering want to be in 20 years? Uh, what did we aspire to be doing? And then how, how would we get there? And it was a, uh, a terrific process. We actually put our uh, young faculty in charge because we feel they see the future better than perhaps some of the rest of us. And they identified 10 challenges where they thought Stanford School of Engineering should aspire to make an impact. And one of them was how can engineering ensure that humanity flourishes in the cities of the future? Very appropriate for this gathering. So as all of you know, uh, more than half of humanity already lives in cities. The uh, rapid global urbanization trend is continuing. If anything, it's accelerating, especially in developing countries. City governments are being challenged, oh, stretched, perhaps even in some cases overwhelmed by mass migration, which is challenging the infrastructure systems, housing, water, supply, waste treatment, power, telecommunications. So this conference is orchestrated, uh, organized to focus on two trends that'll help governments and private companies better address these unmet needs and hopefully make infrastructure services even more robust and accelerate and accessible. So the two trends that the, um, that the conference is going to focus on are technologies for decentralized treatment of waste, purification of water, and production of power, and then the exponentially decreasing cost of sensors, wireless communication, and computer processing power, and the opportunity that that presents. Uh, the organizers of this conference hope that the confluence of these trends will open up a host of new business models for both governments and private firms to adopt. But they also recognize and are quite sensitive to the, uh, the fact that these attempts to collect and use big data around the uh, consumption of city services raises unprecedented challenges of governance, privacy, cybersecurity. And those are going to need to be deeply studied and very rigorously addressed. Now, Focusing on how cities can better use big data to advance sustainability of the next generation infrastructure service provision is a natural 
new research and education direction for us at Stanford. So I want to emphasize how much we appreciate the opportunity to participate in this summit, and we really look forward to learning from it. We are looking to this to help guide our future programs in this area, and we will be listening with great interest. This summit has been organized by the Stanford Global Project Center, Stanford Media X Center, PARC, which is Xerox company, and Imperial College. Uh, the participants, you all are senior leaders from government, industry, and universities who are advancing the theory and the practice of digitization of city services across the world. Um, we're delighted to host this event here in our new Huang Engineering Center. Uh, we hope it is informative and enjoyable for all of you. I would like to thank the generous sponsors who have made this event possible. And so, on behalf of Stanford University, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all of you to this summit. And it is the first of what we hope will be a series of similar events over the next few years. Thank you, and if there's anything we can do to make your stay more fruitful, comfortable, pleasurable, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you very much.